we're going to be solving 347 add 216 equals the sum. So that's add end plus add end equals sum. I've set out my column addition vertically with my hundreds column, my tens column, my ones column, I have my operation symbol at the side and my equals sign. We're going to start by partitioning our first add end 347 into hundreds, tens and ones. We have three hundreds, four tens and seven ones. Now I'm going to record this in my algorithm. I have three hundreds, four tens and seven ones. Notice how I've left space above my first add end. My next step is to partition my second add end into hundreds, tens and ones. I have two hundreds, one ten and six ones. I'm now going to write my second add end underneath my first add end. So I have two hundreds, one ten and six ones. Now that I've set out my calculation and aligned my hundred tens and ones, I can begin calculating. We always start on the right hand side. So starting at the ones column, I'm going to do seven ones, add six ones. This equals 13 ones. Hmm, I can't write 13 ones in my ones column as that's too many digits. So let's think about the number 13. Here, 13 is made of 13 ones, but I also know the number 13 can be made of one 10, add three ones. I know that 10 ones equals one 10. So I'm going to regroup my 10 ones, exchanging 10 ones for one 10. I'm going to place my one 10 in the tens column. Recording this correctly in our algorithm is really important. I now have three ones in my ones column and I must remember to record the one 10 I've placed in the tens column. Now I can add together all of my tens, remembering the one 10 I placed at the top. One 10, add four tens, add one 10 equals six tens. Now I can add together my hundreds, three hundreds add two hundreds equals five hundreds. So Altogether, I have 563.